Hi there, I'm Lisa. This is Ted, my partner, and their best friend, Hans the dog. On the 18th of March 2020, when COVID-19 spanned the globe and the world began to lock down, we decided to turn our lives upside down and begin the adventure of a lifetime. We threw in our jobs, packed up the car and purchased this 14th century Monument Historique de France. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> With no previous experience, just £80,000 budget and a tent as a temporary residence, we plan to renovate this former House of Tabellion into a family home and thriving business. Learning new skills along the way, we have one year to bring this ancient Relay de Post back to life. We invite you to come along for the ride. So strap yourselves in and let the fun begin. Good baby. Right, so hello everybody. Hello. Um, this is a very special video because look at the state of us. <laughs> it's their anniversary. It is. <laughs> We've been here half a year! Six months! 26 weeks. God, can you believe it? Um, crazy. Anyway, we've got some great things coming up for you. We just wanted to start the video by just saying thank you so much to all our subscribers. We've got some great people out there. You yeah. guys are really supporting us, keeping us going, and um, and we love them for that. Thanks for we? all the great suggestions on you know Instagram, Facebook, everything like that it's really really uh we we take it on board um it's great to have that and it's great to have along for this journey that we're going along now if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe press the notification button and go back and watch all the videos from the day we first arrived here six months ago yeah look how much better they've got <laughs> <laughs> look how much longer they've got look how much um, more elaborate they've got so this week we've got some different things for you. We've come away from apartment two. Um, there's been lots going on in apartment two this week, but we're not going to show you it because we're going to do a bit of a reveal next week and an update on how we're getting on. But this week, it's Dave's 60th birthday. Right. Um, we have lots going on, um, things turning up, things we're trying to get rid of. We also go and do a special visit to find some old friends. Um, and. Yeah. Um, what else did we do this week? Ah, oh, the reason why we're standing in the barn is another thing we did this week. Yeah. So you'll see that at the end of the video. Um, just a quick reminder that if you want to support us in any way, then please look at our Patreon page. The description's in the link. And we also have the GoFundMe page for the roof. The roof is going to be started in a couple of weeks. So that'll yeah. be really exciting. Yeah, that will be, yeah. Be a bit yeah. nerve-wracking as well. See every roof terrifying. come off and go back on again. Yeah, very terrifying, but I'm sure the guys know what they're doing, so that'll be great to have that done finally. Um, Enjoy a six-month video. Okay, so Dave and Karen have come to help us today because we have a big task ahead of us. Tell me, baby. Please, please these things, these things, these, these bloody things that we're about to try and move keep me awake at night. They really do. Um, they are radiators that are in most of the rooms. We've got a total of two in the back room, three in the centre room, three in the corridor, and two in the tea room. And they've all got to be got out, and I don't care where they go, if they lie here, that'll be fine, as long as Matey Boy wants to come from the reclamation yard and pick them up. If he don't want them, he can put them back. <laughs> we don't want them back in there. Can I just say that this is a happy face? But I haven't seen this yet, so <laughs> watch this space. Should we go show you? And there may well be lots of bleeping on the video. <laughs> Come on in. Right, so if I show you what... Look, his face has changed already. Yeah, so there's two of these in here. Yeah. So they're all only hooked on the wall, that's fine. And are they all the same size as this? No. No, right. But... These are the worst ones? These two are the worst ones, right. but there's... One's upstairs that will cause you even more grief because you haven't got anywhere to get out. Right. So you've got a spiral staircase which we can't, we won't be able to get down. Yeah. 
Uh, but let's go and look upstairs and we'll show them because you get a bit more light upstairs. So after checking out the upstairs radiators, we decided to start on the easiest ones on the ground floor. One down. <laughs> so with the first one down, it was on to the next. Four more. Um, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. <laughs> <laughs> Keep smiling, Dave. <laughs> The long discussion was then how we were going to get them from the first floor down to the ground floor. Now with a spiral staircase, this is very difficult. The only solution was to lift them up and throw them out the window. Yep. Oh! oh. No. Very close. Yeah. So with the first lot out, we had four more to go, but these are even heavier and larger than the first lot. So the only solution we had was to cut them in half to be able to get them out the window. If you're cutting and yeah. that breaks, is one bit going to go that way? I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't think so. No, you're happy. I don't think it's going anywhere, is it? And it's losing the tooth. No. No. This sounded easier than it actually was. So you want to roll it, but you get it into the middle and stop, then get it back on the trolley and go, don't we? Yeah. As soon as this is off, you could put the trolley... Right there now. 
And now... That ain't happening. You're, you're going to wreck that tile. Oh, I ain't bothered about that. You would literally have to turn this round now. You'd have to turn it round. lift it. And you'd have to turn it round. It's going to be that. So with a lot of scratching of heads, debating, discussing, we went back to the first plan of cutting it in half after Ted ran down and got a few more blades to put in the saw. Pull that out, we'll just turn one. Turn it in. There we go. Yeah. Both sides of us, I reckon. Yeah. We stand either side either of it. Sides, yeah. And when the saw still didn't work, we just went for pure jiggery pokery root strength. Okay, let's try that again. Voila! Where there's a will, there's a way. And out the window it went. All we've got to hope now is when the guy comes from the reclamation yard, he wants to take the radiators. Otherwise, we're stuck with them on the front lawn. And here he is, right on cue. Um, you don't want these. No, no, no good, good for you. Horrible flat forms on them. We've got one or two of them which we struggle to sell occasionally to somebody who has them for the garage. Or yeah. The workshop, but other than that, no good. I think that's a no then. We're going to need another plan, Ted. However, it wasn't a completely wasted journey for the guys. Whilst we was up at the reclamation yard last week, I had brought a couple of the wagon wheels to go in the garden. I don't know if you've seen some previous images of Chateau de Montmagne, but there are a couple of wagon wheels, one outside and one inside. But when we arrived, they'd gone missing, so we wanted to replace them. Been offering loads of money for them, haven't we? Yeah. You want this one in here, out there? There, yeah. Right, okay. Let you sort it out. So, what do you want it in the centre pillar? Yeah, yeah, centre pillar, just a bit. Yeah, just over it, a bit further, below it's a bit further. That's it, just yep, don't perfect. rest on that. That'll do it. Yeah. You ought to stand in on a piece of wood or something. Yep, yeah, otherwise, it... yeah, yeah, I noticed that when we when you said you wanted, yeah, yeah so just so it takes this out, takes this off the ground, yeah. off the ground, it won't. Yeah. Bit of wood, yeah. bit of slate, bit of stone, anything just to bring it up a little bit. Brilliant. Well, all you need to do is. Roll it, put that way, put it yeah. down, roll it back. All right. Excellent, thank right, you. Right, where do you want the next one? So the other one, follow me, over here. <laughs> Just anywhere over there, up against that will do. Yeah. They do look good though, right? Much as I've got my wagon wheels. What? I've got my wagon wheels. Yes. Yes. So next on our list of things to do for this week was to take a visit to Arnak Lepo Cemetery okay. and see if we can find some old friends. Yeah. So this is the cemetery for Arnak Post. Now Apparently, in this cemetery somewhere, the Marcoul family is buried, or some of the Marcoul family. So, how we find it, I don't know. Well, these are all modern. Yeah, they're family tombs, aren't they? family. You found one. You found 
Found it. Oh, wow! Oh, wow, well, where? Oh, my God! Oh, God! Wow! Mark all the loot. Wow. I feel like we should have bought flowers. Maybe we will. Maybe that's what we should do every month. Bring some flowers up. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the life we have now. Lardell. Well, that's the name next to it. Yeah, Lardell, V97. Oh, there it is. Lardell. No, that's Lardell. No. Lardell. 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 Was it quite a way in? So we're trying to find a grave, we just looked on the list of graves, it's got the grave number, the name of the person, and it's got where they died. Uh -huh. so on this side, baby. Over that side. The Lardy, Lardol Savi is, is behind it, so I think it's either this row or that row. That row. And there's, yeah, there's a grave of a person that died at Montmagna. We were trying to find it. Found it. You found it? Yeah. That's Lardell. Well, it's two single ones next to each other. One and this there. one says it's ancient and I non... Think it's this one here. Yeah, yeah cos look. Oh. Maserat Roche. Yeah. 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 Maserat Roche. Yep. It's this this one here. So that oh, is it's ancient. It's fallen over. Yeah. And it's smashed in half. I wonder what can you yeah, get a picture? Yeah, you can see. Can you get a picture of what it says underneath? I can just for that. But it's gonna be hard. And I'll then I can it. try and research the name. <sighs> Eight months. Eight months. 1878. Age 8 months. Died at Montmagne at 8 months. 8 months. February, uh, February. Deceased yeah. at Montmagne, Lefebvre, 1878. Oh, wow. Joseph Joyeux. Oh. Joyeux, age 2 et mois. Yeah? 8 months. Yeah. Yeah. Bien regret de sa mère à la prise de sa mère. 1878. So, so having that a name, 1878. So what, what was that name? That's the thing, I've not heard that name before. No, that's a new one. So if we that's... research that name, I it might have been... That's, that's, um, they were working there. They, yeah. were, they were part of the... Part of, the, part of the crew, as it were. Oh, how sad. Eight months old, 1878. It's all broken, that. So that would be, be interesting to find out anything about that. Yeah. So that was a quite emotional trip to the cemetery to find the Markle family, the people who gave us our future here at Mormania. So last night, we all went out, me, Ted, Karen and Dave, 
to a bar that had a um, band. We thought it would be a really nice evening out. However, we went to see this band and they were not very good, let's say that. Um, but you could see it really kind of got Ted and Dave's... Uh, what could I say? Musical juices flowing. Yes, musical juices flowing. <laughs> and they are desperate to pick up their guitars again and start playing. So this barn would be perfect for them to have rehearsals in and start doing a bit of playing. Also, I need a bit more music um, for us to use in our videos. So today my job is to try and clear this lot out um, and try and make a bit of space for them so they can have uh, their, uh, their gear out. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to try and transfer it from here over to the coach house um, on the other side so that we can free up a bit of space here. We know we're not going to do anything with the coach house for, for a while. This is all kind of stuff that we found in the house when we arrived, but stuff we want to keep and used in the apartments. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sort of get going and try and transfer a little bit over. So this is the coach house and as you can see there's a lot of rubbish in here but I've already started by piling up all of this stuff um, which came out of the other barn. Exhausted doing a little job, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just it to long, trying to do, trying to do it's something weird. that you know looks halfway decent, and then you know you could put a little bit of the black, that black wax exactly in there. Exactly what to... I was going to do. Um, you know, maybe your black wax or yeah. maybe my, you know, Jacobean, yeah. just to just accentuate it. I think it'll look nice, but I'm just trying to because I did it with that, which was okay. Um, but I'm just. I'm, You're trying to hand carve it. I'm just not really. They're very good at it. You know that's the thing. No, I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm, I genuinely, you know, believe I'm not very good at it. So I just try, okay. and and you just, you know, I suppose the more you do it, like anything really, you might get a little bit better at it. Um, 
and you just try and make things that people might like. And it's uh, oh, I'm terrible because I shall fiddle here for ages until I, I think that it's right. And well, that's good. Well, as long as he likes it. Okay, so the workshop is now complete. Now it's only temporary, um, but it means that Ted's got his area, and you can see he's uh, working on Dave's birthday present as we speak. <laughs> so this is Ted's workshop area. We've put a bit of plastic up to stop a lot of the dust going over to the other side because this is where I cleared out so that Ted and Dave can have an area to rehearse in and have all their music. So over here we've got all Ted's music gear with a tarpaulin that we can just sort of pull over it as well just to make sure it doesn't get all dusty. Still some furniture left in here that we didn't move, but, um, but at least it gives them a good area to have a bit of a play. When are we going to see your first session, babe? Um, next week? Next week, possibly, possibly Tuesday next week. Cool. And then I've even sorted myself out a little area um, for me to do my crafting. So I've got a table here. Um, as you can see, I'm working on a window. Um, this is some crafting bits that I'm working on another project, which we'll see later on once I've finished it. And um, and then I've got another little desk area um, that's got all my crafting bits. Well, not all of them. A lot of them is in the loft that I need to bring down. Um, but uh, but an area for me. So. Uh, yeah, cool. I can't wait to, to get using my crafting area, baby. Well, it's good. I'm glad. I'm pleased that we got this sorted, though. I'm glad. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dave. Happy birthday to you. We would like to thank all of our subscribers and all of our supporters. We'd like to welcome a new patron this week, Shannon Grams. Welcome to the team, Shannon. If you would like to become a patron and have access to uncut footage, behind the scenes, Q&As, then please check out the description below. We also have the GoFundMe page if you'd like to make a one-off donation. Those of you that are helping to fund our project are supporting us in more ways than you can ever imagine. Bringing this place back to life is something beneficial to everybody. Stay safe and we'll see you next week.